the person you power bombed hardest, and why was it Disco Inferno? Well, I didn't power bomb the hardest. Oh, you power bombed someone I? harder than Disco Inferno. Oh, I put some guys down pretty good, straight, solid. Did I hit him that hard with it? Someone wrote in and said that was the hardest power bomb they'd ever seen. It was on Disco well, with you. Yeah. Disco was great. I I love working with Disco. Uh, I guess, I mean, I don't really recall. I like, I put some guys down pretty solid. You know, they in Japan, I hit uh, Nakanishi with one in the Tokyo Dome. And he came a foot off the mat. It was beautiful. And, uh, and uh, you know, I put, him, I put people down flat. I don't let them go. Mm. I mean, over there, if you don't, they'll boo you. It's just different, you know. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe just go. I don't know. I did, not, not meaning to, you know. He went up perp. Disco wouldn't block you. Guys that you got to horse up. They mess it up because it, you can't flatten them out right. You know, you got to go down with them and stuff. So Kevin Nash would be booed in Japan then, because he always said the his, jackknife. Then his, his jackknife would have wasn't over in Japan at all. I mean, Kevin was over, but I don't think Kevin would do it like that there, because he just let go. You know, he went like this. He was very polite about it. I'm trying to think. Do you know who, uh, in my mind, took the hardest power bomb? Probably asked for it was like Eddie Guerrero or Benoit or someone like that because they would, they would like try and like drill for oil, you know, with oh, the person God. they were throwing down. Sure. I mean, uh, I know what I know what they're talking about. I remember, I had wrestled the giant twice in a row on Monday Nitro. First time in Denver, then the second one was going to be in Arizona. And, uh, you know, he hit me with a choke slam in the first one. And I told him, I says, well, we got to do something different this week. And I says, choke slam me on the floor and just leave me out there. You get back in the ring, you're the winner. So we, we go through the match. We have a pretty good match. You know, it's tight as and heavy duty match. Like they're happy with the match and everything. So, anyways, we get out on the floor. Big monster who is powerful as hell. He grabbed the mat and flicked it. It looked like a tornado blew it away. It just went. <laughs> and I don't ever remember telling him to get rid of the mat. And I says, oh, God, this is going to be. But I'm not going to stiff him, and I'm not going to go up. He had me. All the way in the air. And when I came down, I could feel the the wind going like, and that big son of a gun stuck his hand behind my back. And I mean, he put me down pretty stiff, solid, but he took care of me. Hmm. And I, you know, I went flat and I mean, they believed it, believe me. And uh, that was. Tight. You know, I never power bombed anybody on concrete. I did one chair or table job with uh, Scott Hall, but it, he didn't want to go either. I mean, you can make that very difficult to do if you you're not working with the guy. But I, I, you know, I I do remember power bombing uh, three guys one time. They sent me out there, and I bang, 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 and. I cannot recall who they were, but they all took it like men. Mm. <laughs>